Hello, this is Dr. Jim Hilgers. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce you to Reliance's Orthodontic Veneer System, or OVS. The veneering kit itself is loaded with virtually all the products needed to create some great looking veneers. These include three color match composites, sealants, four different sizes of face forms, and the sticky wands to hold the face forms during fitting and placement. In this presentation, we'll take you through the clinical process of creating beautiful veneers over exceedingly small or peg-shaped upper lateral incisors. Of course, the first order of business is to create adequate space to be able to apply the composite veneers. Here's an occlusal view of the two teeth we're going to be working with. Note the nice spacing both mesial and distal to the target teeth. Now we'd like to determine the ideal size of the teeth that we're veneering. If you remember from your old oral anatomy days, the upper laterals are about 0.7 or 3 quarters the size of the centrals. This can be determined with a simple millimeter rule or, if you happen to have one, a divine proportion caliper. We'll often reshape and size the upper central so that we can create a fuller contact with the veneered teeth. We then peel back the blue cover and select the appropriate size face of form for these teeth. The face of form is the most clever part of the whole system because it allows you to create a perfectly polished and shaped labial surface to the veneer. At this point I like to purchase the face of form with a small sticky wand so that I can easily hold and trim it. I'll go ahead and trim away the gingival portion of the face of form with a small curved scissors. Then I'll try the face of form on the target tooth and slide it gently under the gingival sulcus. I'd like to trim the face of form so that when its gingival margin is slightly into the sulcus, the incisal edge is just about even with the central incisors. After we've properly trimmed the face of form, and that's really important, we'll determine the composite color we'd like. You can use a standard color guide, but I like to hold a small dollop of the selected composite up against the centrals to verify color. Of course, most teeth have an average color, so I I start my selection process there. I then use a gel type etchant to thoroughly etch the entire target tooth, making sure to get the mesial and distal contacts. I rinse off the gel, dry thoroughly, apply sealant, and cure for 10 seconds. While keeping the target tooth dry and isolated, my assistant will load the face of form with an even layer of my chosen composite. Usually one to two millimeters is adequate. The composite itself is very thick and may need some thinning with sealant to make it more workable. She will tampen down the composite with a sealant covered pledget to make sure that there are no voids on the labial surface. I then carry the face of form to the tooth and first slide its edge under the gingival sulcus and roll the face of form toward the incisal edge. That will ensure that the portion of the sulcus is a nice cleansable knife edge and not a ledge. I press and ideally position the face of form and remove the sticky wand with a twisting motion. At this point I will use my finger to gently roll the excess composite over the lingual surface. That's where a lot of the retention comes from. I again use a sealant covered pledget to smooth and remove excess composite being careful not to disturb the ideally positioned labial surface of the veneer. The entire complex is then cured, labial and lingual for 10 to 15 seconds. The plastic face of form is easily removed by catching it at the gingival margin with a scaler and peeling it away toward the incisal. We can now start the final reshaping of the veneer using a sandpaper disc and donut shaped diamond or whatever your favorites are. We end up with perfectly shaped and sized veneers to which we can place brackets and continue treatment. The occlusal view shows the composite veneers lapping over onto the lingual surface. Another example of a composite veneer was created by positioning the tooth removing the clear bracket, creating the veneer and replacing the bracket to continue treatment. With a little practice it's possible to create beautiful treatment veneers that serve to hold the ideal in-out position 
for final ceramic veneers or crowns years later. The patients are very appreciative of this service and we do charge for it. Of course the patient is given the option of having their general dentist make the veneers but we charge about $175 per veneer uh, at this time and actually most patients prefer that we fabricate them. Thanks for listening and have fun with your newfound skill. Creating orthodontic veneers with Reliance's well-conceived system.